Right, I've been asked to um, do a video on football duties and hooligans uh, and that sort of thing. So first of all, I fucking hate football. I hate it so much on a hate scale of one to 400, it's at 632. I could not think of anything more boring or dull to do with my time than kick a ball or watch it. I just think it's pointless and everyone gets paid a little crisp amount of money for kicking some pig skin around when you've got brain doctors that don't get £100,000 a year, but you get some bloke running around driving a Lamborghini that gets banned for drink driving. I mean, let's say this, for drink driving or driving at 150 miles an hour in his Lamborghini, but it's meant to be a role model for children getting £500,000 a week and it's absolutely fucking stupid. My personal views aside, football duties. So I've done football duties starting on footbeat, normal patrol, to being traffic and to being motorcycle unit. So I'll give you an example of football duties. And this is why I fucking hate football. Apparently football is all set through the year and you've got your dates when it's going to be coming out. But ironically, you cancel your rest days. So you're working 80 hours a week, you have four days off and apparently you come in one day and they say, oh, you're working one of your rest days because a lot of people are coming up from Millwall to play Leeds who can't behave themselves, wearing stupid clothes and want to headbutt everyone. But ironically, if you go watch cricket and rugby, everyone behaves themselves. If you go watch horse racing, everyone behaves themselves. But football, they can't behave themselves. They're like a grown set of bloody babies. I'm sorry about this as well. Uh, to everyone that's a really nice that likes football. We get there, where the rest days are cancelled, especially when it happens on Boxing Day, because ironically Boxing Day is Boxing Day, which is Christmas Day number two, where you go see her family rather than your family, or vice versa, and you all have right good time, load of beers, but you can't because you sat in a van with a load of sweaty ass coppers at this match, so everyone can go, we are leads, we are leads, we are... And you're thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? So they'll make you either be in the game, so you either watch the game, and you've got no interest in the game, but you're between some idiots chanting summer and some idiots chanting something else. Or you're outside the match doing footbeat, making so people don't park here, people don't park there. Or you're five and a half miles away, checking cars, making sure no one's breaking into cars. However you want to do it, it's rubbish. Then I've got to the point of being the van driver. So I've drove the van and all I've done is sit in the van for nine hours. And then I've done it where I've been on traffic and I've escorted them. And I've been a motorcycle unit where I've escorted them again. So you're escorting like probably 300, 400 fans out of a football match. Uh, and then we're not allowed to take them under a, a road A because road A's got a bridge on. So Millwall fans are, or Leeds fans are going to be picking Millwall fans and throwing bottles at police motorbikes. Or you're not allowed to take them here, you're not allowed to take them there. And these are people, this, these, these, so there's two sets. There's one set which is Barry and Scott which want to take the kids and they're lifelong supporters and they've got a season ticket and all they want to do is go out and have a nice bit of fun. That's brilliant. And you've also got these other idiots drinking, shouting, bawling, acting like a four-year-old child and then go to the match and all they want to do is find someone to fight. They don't want anything to do with football. They don't want anything to do with the ambience of the match. All they want to do is go cause issues people to fight. And in my time, we've had to be in big groups of escorting people through Leeds City Centre because we can't have one, what they're called? Uh, uh, gangs are called some aren't they? Firm. We can't have one firm against another firm. Do you know what I mean? They're not lawyers. I mean, one of the Bradford City, they're called ointment, you know what I mean? You, so you're called something that you put on wounds to make them better. You think you'd be called like the, the Iron Fist or the Dragon Fighters or Manslayer called ointment, you know, oily Yule, Pro 10, Pro V air conditioner. Why don't you call yourself something like your tote slippers or socks? I'm probably going to get stabbed after this. <laughs> but that's how I feel about football. All these footballers earn so much money, they need to pay for the private security. They need separate security firms on that come on, that cordon all the roads off, do all the matches, and it's nothing to do with the police. If you want the police there, you write us a huge check. But why should we, on my God-given rest day, earning pittance because the government hasn't decided to pay us anymore and decided to rape us pension. I'm getting too political here, aren't I? Go to a football match for 10 hours in a sweaty one-piece jumpsuit that says police on it and walk around getting abuse off people that have come from a long way away that can't hold a drink and then protect footballers earning £250,000 a week and want to drive off in the Lamborghini. The only people that get bummed here are the bobbies. I'm absolutely sick of it. It's rubbish. And I'm sorry if I feel emotional about it, but footballers have a good time. All the fans have a good time. And the only people that don't have a good time are the Bobbies. And it's absolutely horrendous. I hate it. And I've been in a lot of skirmishes with a lot of fans and everyone's been brawling, putting windows through. And then you stood there with a shield and they're kicking a shield or they're throwing stuff at you. And you're thinking like, why the fuck am I here? But then my mate goes and watches football at Edinley. Is it not football? Sorry, cricket at Edinley. And you go watch that. 
And everyone's like talking, drinking in pub together, shaking hands. My, my next door neighbour's a bloody rugby player and all these rugby matches that they go to, all kids go and rugby play. You can stand next to someone wearing a pink shirt to a blue shirt to a yellow shirt. Who do you support? New Zealand blacks or all blacks? Are all blacks to Irish, Irish whatever. And you can wear all these different shirts and everyone's right nice to each other. And I just think, why can't you be like that? Ooh, football, innit? Ooh. And the worst thing is, this is what really annoys me. The worst thing is, it's on every single channel now. It's on BBC, ITV, because who's playing now, is it? Euros, it's on everything, and I can't even watch Coronation Street. That's why I'm not happy. Fucking hate football. Was there any teams, <laughs> was there any teams that were more notorious than others that you can give us? Millwall. Fucking hate Millwall. I don't even follow football, but as soon as you were, you had a cat A, cat B, and sat cat, cat, cat C match. One of them's just not going to happen, and one of them's going to, everyone's going to get stabbed in the neck. And then every time you heard word Millwall, it were like, right, get your right helmets, get this, get that. Firms coming up, firms coming you know what I mean? And you're thinking like, and then it turned out, 23 of them would get off the train, 50,000 lead supporters, 23 Millwall. And you're like, what is going on here? And you, you look out, there'd be 500 police officers stood there, escorting 23 people. And I just think it's just pointless. Uh, absolutely. Learn to behave, learn to be adults and grown up. Take your dummies out of your mouth. Go get some education and watch the match like proper adults do. Let Barry and Steve and his son have loads of fun without getting melee you lot for him. The stupid air makers at each other. Is all he's going to get put in there? He's going to get cut. <laughs> I'm leaving it in. Leave it in. Do but it's just it's pathetic, isn't it? It's, it's pathetic. This is how it goes. So the fight against the other team, like Leeds, whatever, then they'd all get kicked out of all bar one in Leeds. Then they'd probably start fighting over each other. Then they'd get to coach time and they'd try and get on a coach, but one of them would be pissed, pissing himself and one wouldn't get like So then they'd start fighting against him. And then Leeds, revelers in Leeds, looking who were not to do with football at all, wouldn't like the fact that they couldn't go down Greek Street in Leeds because they were all bar one. So they'd start kicking off and the police, they'll get blamed for it. So you'd be stood there going, I've not even got involved in it. And I've had four complaints already. I've not even got anywhere near. I fucking hate football. I'm sorry about everyone that likes football. It's a really good sport. And everyone that plays it gets paid a lot of money for a good reason. Is it coming home? Is it fuck? <laughs> it's not coming home. It's never gonna come home. And we, we won once, we were 1965 or whatever it was. 66. 66, we won once, and I think they were lucky they did that. But it's never gonna come home. It's not coming home. It's not coming home. We've launched the Patreon channel. If you wanna help out, please see the link below. Thank you. And they don't actually fight as well. They do this like chicken prod dance where they have their arms outside of each other. And they like bounce up and, come on mate, come on in, you want some? And the other one says you want some. And then no one actually throws a punch, but put one on one in a car park. Hello, I'm Jim, nice to meet you Jim, I'm Barry, yeah. <laughs>